Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing very well. And this is for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. And so we'll get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's go ahead and get started and see what is in store for you, Taurus. Okay, so we have Temperance, the Major Arcana. We have the Seven of Swords, and we have the Three of Wands. So Temperance is a card of doing whatever you can to stay in balance, to uh, pay attention to what's going on within you. And so going on within you from both a physical perspective, an emotional perspective, mentally, uh, spiritually, all aspects of your life. You're trying to find uh, the right balance, the integration of all of these things, and it's really a check-in with each part of you. And often, when one part of our life, if we're exhausted uh, and we're physically feeling weak, that affects other parts of our lives. So, you know, temperance is saying you've got to find the right balance for yourself and you have to do things moderately. So if you have been working too hard at the expense of rest and recovery, then there has to be a little, you know, you have to pay some attention to it to try to improve that situation. So it's a matter of thinking and contemplating on what's going on within your life and how can you get yourself to a more serene, peaceful place, your own equilibrium. And, you know, when we feel that we're rested and that we are nutritionally on point and we have just the right amount of social activities and other things, then we feel good. But when we're in extremes, if we're working every weekend because uh, we have a, a, a pleading or something that's due and you're just pulling all-nighters, you know, that stresses the, the system, your system. So it's incumbent upon you to find the balance that works for you. So it's a matter of tuning in, tuning in to how you feel, what you're thinking, listening for messages because often uh, you know we get these little nuggets from above that come down so it's really being very mindful and aware of how you're feeling across the board and to try to develop a plan to become more uh, moderate in behaviors or you know things going on in your life and sometimes things are out of your control you know and that's it's appreciated. We know that that's, everybody's felt like that. Sometimes we don't really have control, but to the degree that we can or begin to plan to try to bring more balance in, then that's important. That's essential. So that's a big thing to think about. So then we have the Seven of Swords. And so in this illustration, you know, here's the coloring. It's dark. It's a dark night. It looks like someone is really taking something that isn't his. And often with the Seven of Swords, it's the possibility of deceit, of dishonesty, of someone trying to pull the wool over your eyes, somebody trying to, uh, you know, uh, get you to believe in something maybe that isn't quite right in order for you to do something manipulation perhaps, but it's certainly not behavior that's on the up and up. And in life we encounter people who straight up try to rip you off or try to take your job or be underhanded and, and whatever it may be. And the Seven of Swords is, yes, the possibility of course is always exists that that kind of thing happens, but pay attention. Be aware of people around you. Be aware of, you know, what they say and what they do. Are, are those two things in alignment? Do they have integrity? 
So it really is um, putting up your antenna and particularly your BS antenna when people are feeding you a bunch of bull that you need to be on top of things and that sometimes people's um, objectives are not very honest or sincere or authentic that there's a hidden agenda behind so as we've said I think earlier in the week or at some point information is power I would go further and say awareness is power which is take people at face value until you begin to see discrepancies until you begin to see things that don't quite add up it's up to you to protect yourself in life you know you have to be uh, very much on top of who's telling you what and you know if someone's lying to you there's some pretty good liars out there and ultimately uh, perhaps the lies are revealed but you know this is a a reminder that someone may be trying to take something from you could be your time could be your money could be a partner or somebody could be interested but it's something for you to be thinking about so then we have the three of wands and with the three of wands we get a real sense here of this golden horizon the fire looks like the glowingness in the in the in the in the distance and so this person in this illustration is really focused on what's in the distance in the future why this is a card of vision it's a card of thinking about the big picture it's about planning what's next for you for some of you what's next may be actual travel you may be headed somewhere on business or on a vacation or something others may be thinking of making a change or perhaps following their pursuits their passions getting additional certifications or uh, expertise in their profession so you may be thinking this is what I'm hoping to do down the line not necessarily tomorrow but over time this is my big picture this is how I'm going to branch out and this is what my future holds and this is what I hope to do I hope to be able to bring my passions and my enthusiasms into my life you know in a real sense and so that's the planning stages and here it's really taking stock of of putting the pieces in place so that you can do so and so it is big ideas you know can lead to big moves and so you have to be uh, thinking about things you need to maybe be inspiring yourself by reading professional development books there's so many great books I happen to be like at the FedEx today and saw all these wonderful business books and I'm thinking gosh you know I made, I made a list of things I'd like to read because it's inspiring to think about what's next what am I gonna do in six months or am I gonna be doing in a year three years you know so this is this initial stage of creation and manifestation so as you are thinking about yourself here you're taking care of yourself and perhaps your family we have this little be mindful of the people around you or the circumstances and the scenarios around you look for the truth in what people say and what they do don't let yourself be taken advantage of and make sure that you establish and maintain balance within your life it's simply solid practical advice which is to um, if, if you're tipping in one direction try to just ease back into a better place so interesting cards let's take a look at what the um, numbers have for us we have 14 and 7 is 21 and 3 is 24 and that reduces to 6 and 6 is about stability it's often about social uh, consciousness or compassion 
and trying to find peace. And to close the reading, I'm going to choose an oracle card and we'll get a little more information. Three of Wands, and here's the word, action. It is taking action. When you have a vision, when you have a plan, when you can really um, visualize and have that mindset of where you're going to be, then that is going to help inspire you and to help propel you down that path. And again, I'll say it a million times, you have to read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. 